cuts like a knife, ironic, I have nothing. Those are just three of the iconic songs written by at least one of the inductees into the 2022 class of the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame. This year's class includes David Foster, Daniel Lavoie, Brian Adams, Alanis Morissette, and Jim Valens. How do you feel your songwriting has changed since, you know, Fate Stay With Me? <laughs> In some ways it hasn't changed at all. The process is similar. Um, just real stream of consciousness. But at the time I was writing about what I imagined relationships would be like based on movies and pop culture and, and my family. But later I started writing about direct experience. Now we've seen the artists come through today about how they're honoring you. And I know you've heard people perform your songs before, but what's it like kind of hearing it in this way? I have um, cultivated the muscle of receiving my own songs by working on our musical. Um, so I'm able to actually have a modicum of objectivity when I listen and I, I, lo I love it. I love hearing someone else's interpretation. The song's no longer mine once someone else hears it. Alanis was such a huge influence on my life, on me as a musician, as a female musician. She. Um, she kind of broke down so many walls of being able to allow women to speak from their place of strength and from an honest place, like a very embodied place. And I just remember just how listening to her for the first time, I was 13 and just being like, I'm not alone in these feelings. Being honest is my favorite thing songs allow us to do. Um, I think putting a truth about yourself in a melody gives you the opportunity to either hide something in the prettiness of a melody or expose something with the beauty of a melody and she's always done the latter and I admire that deeply and am grateful to be a part of a night that collectively admires that. It's strange that I was in the American one 20 years ago but you know Canada does has their own pace and uh, I'm a very proud Canadian so it's a big moment for me. 1979, the Earth, Wind and Fire, or Earth, Wind and Foster, as you like to put it. How has your songwriting maybe changed since then? Or is it still the same kind of look at it? I think if you ask young songwriters today, they probably say that they're doing the same thing. They're getting up in the morning, they're calling their friends, they're going in a room and they're writing, and they're trying to do their best work. That part of it doesn't change. Of course, technology's changed, but I embrace it, and I think that there's some great songs being written today. You know? I Have Nothing has been one of my favorite songs. It's a special song to me. It was a song that I listened to um, on the Bodyguard soundtrack when I myself was singing background vocals with Celine on, at, on tour. And that song I remember was just like, I was just like, God, the timing, the time signature of it, the chordals, you know, the arrangement of it was so different at the time. Just like so powerful. And it inspired me to write songs from my first album. So I'm really excited to be doing it. It's like full circle moment. And here at Massey Hall as well too, it's beautiful. So when you are performing someone else's music, I know you've heard for years people perform your music. What is it like to be on the receiving end of somebody else interpreting your song? Well, it's, it's one of the, to me, one of the, the greatest honors when someone does a cover of your song, someone interprets your music. Because they put their own creative spin on it and um, they, they have so many songs to choose from. To choose one of yours is, is very gratifying and fulfilling. Um, I have the, the challenge tonight of trying to do justice to you know some of Brian and Jim's songs. And uh, it's a lot easier doing my own songs than theirs, but I, I hope to meet the mark. The last time a class was inducted into the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame was in 2017, and it included Neil Young. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dine.